he eventually said he had to get out of that room because he was like, you're going home. And it started to bother him. So he went and moved with another person with life. He's oh no, Smith, I still, I still love you. And I was his first black roommate mm -hmm. since 1973. I was his first black roommate. Damn. And he was like, I just had to leave because your energy is now different and it's conflicting with mine. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I curled up and I just cried because at that point I had been locked up for uh, 12 years and all the faces of when I first came in, everybody was baby faced and, you know, doing their little thing or whatever. They didn't think they were really going to do life. Yeah. And then I left and we came back and we met back up. And now you see their hairline is a little bit thinner. And their hair gray. And they got gray. Meanwhile, you still like you in your 20s, but you like that life sentence is eating him. Yeah. Yeah. And I could do nothing but just cry because it was like, yo, when Georgia means life, they mean it. Yeah. And they there 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 is no recourse to it. Like that place is like a real eye opener. You know, I used to say, I got 13 years. Oh, hell, boy, you caught sweet. Yeah, like, what the, the fuck, fuck you mean, mean I caught sweet? Years, <laughs> my first day in prison, my first day in prison, my counselor sits me down. He's like, oh, okay, uh, oh, well, 13 years. That's no time. I said, what the hell you do it then? Well, my <laughs> try, my attorney look, said the same look, thing. Look, this is what my counselor says in prison. He, oh. I said, well, hell, since it ain't no time, you do it. He goes, no, 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 I got a different path.